Hello and welcome to my videos series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. If you enjoy my videos, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom and also check out the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page for live streams of our Sunday morning Bible study, our Sunday morning services, and in Sunday evening service with our minister Mark where he'll sing songs, offer the Lord's Supper, and present another lesson for you to be enriched. In my video, I ask you to focus on a psalm and to enjoy this psalm to bring peace and meditation into your world. My point in this video is not to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation, to find your own calm and peace in God's word. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and with the capacity to know you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon your word. In your son's most holy name we pray, amen. So the Psalm that I would like to look at today is Psalm number 15. And in my Bible, the Psalm 15 is subtitled, Description of a Citizen of Zion. In David's time, Zion is what is referred to as the city of Jerusalem, or maybe the hill in Jerusalem, but it more often for us signifies the kingdom of heaven. And David's first lines surely show that he is referring to this holy hill, God's tent. So David here is describing the perfect man, the man who is worthy to abide in God's very tent. What is the purpose for this in our meditation? We cannot be perfect. Looks like David's answer to his first two questions is no one. So why meditate on this? Why confirm that we are not perfect? One answer can be humility. We are told by the scriptures to fear God. Our fear of God humbles us. Our culture tends to look at fear as a bad thing. The slogan, no fear, became popular several years back. Fear can be healthy. It puts us on alert. It reminds us that we are not all powerful and we should be on our guard to our shortcomings. And more importantly here, we should be listening to God. Another way we can meditate upon this is to use it to see how we can be better what we should be striving for to the best of our abilities. In our imperfect world and mortal life, we don't normally achieve at the rate we strive for. Life's imperfections get in our way and things go wrong. I hear students as a teacher who want only to achieve the minimum and then they end up with less than that. I've heard track coaches tell their athletes to look beyond the finish line so that they are running at full speed when they cross the line. Let's meditate upon this here in the same way. Maybe we can't always walk with integrity. Maybe we don't always speak truth in our hearts or reproach against our friends sometimes. Maybe we get hurt and we get angry and that changes us for the worse. Maybe we want something more back from those we lend to, but does that mean we should not aspire to be these things? Does that mean we shouldn't know what the ultimate finish line is to dwell on God's holy hill, to never be shaken? Meditate upon this psalm and use it to understand what we should excel in so that we may be closer to God. Until next time, keep Psalms and carry on.